Explosive remnants of war, or ERW, are a significant problem in both land and maritime environments. Whether it is from sunken naval vessels carrying ordnance, munitions placed near coastal regions, or unexploded shells from naval and aerial operations, areas exist around the world where it is deemed unsafe due to concealed remnants of past conflicts. Until recently, the Department of Defense Humanitarian Mine Action Program's primary focus was to build partner nation capability to clear land-based explosive remnants of war. The Humanitarian Demining Training Center has trained over 1,800 U.S. military personnel to in turn provide HMA instruction to foreign military and civilian personnel in 45 ERW-affected countries since 1996. The goal is to assist partner nations in establishing an indigenous HMA capability that is self-sufficient, effective, and sustainable while promoting U.S. interests. The difficulty of operating in the maritime environment, however, often requires unique methods for locating and classifying submerged remnants of war. For maritime operations, one asset presently available is the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program. The Mark 7 Marine Mammal System employs bottlenose dolphins to search for, detect, mark, and neutralize mines. This system operates in water depths from beyond 1,000 feet into the surf zone, as well as in ports and in harbors. Dolphins, with their sophisticated biological sonar, are particularly well suited for precision mine hunting in the most difficult, highly cluttered acoustic environments, including those of the near shore zone. Currently supporting mine hunting operations, Marine mammal systems provide the U.S. Navy's only capability for detecting, marking, and neutralizing buried mines. U.S. Navy marine mammal systems have deployed all over the world and have participated in humanitarian ERW exercises. Along with NATO mine clearance forces, the U.S. Navy's marine mammal program was a participant in Lagoon Mine X-09, an exercise in the French Pacific Territory of New Caledonia to clear munitions from sites that were mined during World War II to protect the island from Japanese invasion. The dolphins worked designated areas as well as alongside unmanned underwater vehicle or UUV groups, detecting and localizing numerous targets. In October 2012, the DOD HMA and the Department of State's Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, which provides conventional weapon destruction assistance, including landmine clearance programs worldwide, invited the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program Mine Hunting Dolphins to Montenegro to search for remnants of the 20th century wars which had been fought in the area around Boca Bay and the Straits of Verge. The DOD HMA program and the State Department's Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement also contributed some funding for this deployment. The area you see behind me is known as Boca Bay. It's in the small Adriatic nation of Montenegro. While Montenegro is still a fairly new country, it's seen its fair share of armed conflict. As a result, there are areas in these waters that still contain the explosive remnants of warfare. It's for this reason that the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program was selected to be an important member of Exercise Dolphin 2012. Along with divers from Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit 1 in San Diego, California, members of the Slovenian and Croatian military, and of course our partners from the Montenegrin Navy, We've been tasked with identifying the location of these difficult to find objects. For Dolphin 2012, six mine hunting dolphins transported from San Diego to Tivat, Montenegro on a U.S. Air Force C-17 provided by the 729th Airlift Squadron. Upon arrival, the animals were housed in floating enclosures at Porto Montenegro in Tivat. Technical and veterinary support for the Marine Mammal Program is provided by civilian experts from the Biosciences Division of Space and Naval Warfare System Center Pacific, based in San Diego, California. The civilian trainers, veterinarians, and veterinary technicians train as human dolphin teams and transport with the animals to work in operational areas. Once on site in Montenegro, the animals and their human teammates started working in designated areas, searching for remnants of past wars. Three areas had been assigned for mammal operations by the Montenegrin Navy, two in Boca Bay and one in the Strait of Verge. Dolphins are transported to the work area in the small boats like the ones you see behind us. They ride in a soft rubber pad and then are placed in the water to begin their search operations. Once in the water, they'll be transferred over to control in another small craft. The dolphin will search the areas in front and adjacent to the boat 
And when the dolphin discovers an item of interest, he'll touch a small paddle on the side of the boat, alerting the operator that there's an item of interest. At that point, the dolphin will be given a marker he'll place next to the item so that it can later be identified and localized with the divers. During the operation in Montenegro, numerous contacts were identified by the animals and then checked by Marine Mammal Systems civilian divers. Once a preliminary assessment was made, locations of the ordnance-like objects were then passed off to the Navy teams for further assessment and identification. Contact location, including latitude and longitude, underwater still images, and video of the contacts were then compiled for future use by remediation forces working in Montenegro. This location database with the associated underwater video files and ordnance descriptions is crucial in prioritizing ERW clearance efforts. The GPS database will help expedite Montenegro's national efforts to eliminate ERW threats to civilian population and valuable enterprises. While deployed, U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Professionals also provide a unique opportunity to engage in a special kind of public diplomacy with our animals. Marine Mammal Specialists, interfacing with local youth groups and schools, as well as the Montenegrin media, helped promote America's peaceful and humanitarian policies while teaching about the need for good stewardship of the oceans and the animals that live in them. For deployments, dolphins can be housed aboard amphibious assault ships and in specially designed inflatable shipboard pools, or they can operate from land-based pools or floating enclosures. They have the ability to operate in extreme environments, as warm as Bahrain in the summer and as cold as Alaska in the winter. Over the past 40 years, the marine mammal systems have been employed to operations in Korea, Vietnam, Lithuania, Newfoundland, the mainland United States, Hawaii and Alaska, Kuwait, Norway, Denmark, Germany, and Australia. The most recent operational deployments were to Bahrain, Iraq, New Caledonia, and Montenegro. Marine mammals are a proven and effective component within the Navy's mine hunting operations. By identifying and cataloging munitions in Montenegro, the Mammal Program, along with the Department of Defense's Humanitarian Mine Action Program, and the State Department Office of Weapons Removal and Abatement, help to safeguard that country's trade and tourism industry, while also greatly enhancing public safety and awareness in the waters of Montenegro. The mission improved U.S. Navy, Montenegrin Navy interoperability and was a big step towards achieving Montenegrin Chief of Naval Operations goal of enhancing their underwater mine countermeasure skills to allow for NATO organization interoperability. The proof of concept this mission provided clearly justifies future DOD DOSHMA collaborative efforts and will bolster underwater ERW clearance efforts throughout the world. It's a reality that areas like this exist not only in Montenegro but in other war-torn regions or areas that had previously seen conflict. The special capabilities of the U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program opens a new chapter in a solution for this long-standing problem. Transitioning these unique mine countermeasure capabilities to address ERW underwater munitions is a natural extension of their current Navy Marine Mammal mission.